Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris Mann, and as always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. And today we're going to do another How to Play. And today's selection is Jill Scott, So In Love, featuring Anthony Hamilton. One thing that I can say about this new format where I just play without the copyrighted music in the background is I'm able to cover more selections than before because with the new songs that are only less than five to seven years old, if you post them immediately, most likely you're gonna get a block video worldwide. And if you don't take it down soon, you'll get a strike against your account. So, uh, you know, that's the advantage of doing it in this format now. I don't have to worry about that. And uh, I can do some current stuff that some of the younger people that play in bands want to learn, so I'll do that. So, uh, the Jill Scott song, So In Love. Real simple. I look at songs as far as dissect them into two parts. Verse, chorus, and whatever else. B section, a bridge, or modulation. In this song, I look at it in two parts. The first part, which is the verse, uh, the only thing that they're playing throughout that part is uh, uh, C minor 7 and a E flat minor 9. Or C minor 9 and E flat minor 9. And as you know, in the recording, it's a piano. There's no guitar, but this is what the piano player is doing, and this is what the guitar player could be doing, well, doing as well. So it's C minor 9. And then doing the bridges. And all that is, is a C sharp major seven. And it's strum twice, two, three, four. And this is a A sharp seven. So again, this A sharp major seven. Two, three, four. And then I think that does uh, three times, and then after the third time, then it's D minus seven. Three, four, three, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oops. It's kind of hard to finger this one. But uh, that's the range, tone, guitar range that. Uh, I hear the piano player in the song doing, he's, he's in that range, as opposed to uh, a higher uh, minor nine chord. So uh, that's basically the song. Uh, like I told you before, I'm not getting into, uh, you know, you put your finger here because that's more or less for basic guitar players. These videos, and I stress it, and sorry for sounding like a broken record. They're geared towards people that can already play, have a familiarity with chords, fingering and strumming. They just don't know the chords to the song. So that's why I come in. Again, I do have DVDs for sale, four of them for $27, which is over three and a half hours of me walking you through the chords you need to know to play these songs. And I do break it down for you in the video as far as showing you where your hand should be. But uh, can't do that in each of these videos because that would take a tremendous amount of time. And Again, the main objective here is just to give you the chords so you can take it and run with it. So that's basically it. Uh, you know, what I'm gonna do right quick, just for the sake of timing, for that change, I'm gonna put the headphones on and listen to the copyrighted song, and I'm gonna pick it up right there, right before the bridge. So the bridge is at 135, so let me just do this. <coughs>
So that's it. Uh, I put the headphones on so you can get an accurate uh, measurement and count of the bridge that's in the song. So real simple song, just two sections. It's the C minor nine and the E flat minor nine. Doing the bridge, it's a A sharp major seven. Then it's an A7, A sharp seven. Then it's a D sharp major seven. And then after that, you do it three times, and then it falls on the D. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then it goes back to C minor nine. It's kind of like a breakdown there. And that's it. There you go. Hope this was helpful. Uh, pick up the chords, put on that record, play along with it because it's pretty accurate. Thanks for watching.